so in this video we'll learn how to subscribe to a gazebo topic okay so i already told you how to get this window and how to read this values okay so this this particular topic is having some values others are not having because bandwidth is not there so what we are going to do in this video we are going to write a plugin that would be a model plugin and we'll subscribe to this message and we'll print out this message in our terminal so basically we are going to write this and it will print the message on this topic okay about this topic what are the message coming on this subscribing to this topic and will print on the terminal okay now this is another package that i have created i have named it subscriber model plugin so this is that package the first one was model plugin and now this is our second package that i have created to subscribe to write a subscriber plugin okay so you over here let's go to the coding of this i have opened it as usual in visual studio code okay so now before showing you the code first thing let me show you this world plugin and i told you the importance of this where this plugin is being placed so you can see this plugin is placed where it is placed within the model so this is very important because now the scope of our plugins and all the pointers will be pointing within this range okay so it's very important now the next thing is sketchkin is that the similar the one that we saw in the last video is completely the same okay in all you have to include like this and now then compile your plugin okay now this is the launch file that will read this world name and it will publish okay now let's come to the coding part of it before that let me compile the plugin till this plugin compiles we'll discuss this as you already know from the last video this we have to include some libraries for our plugin to use now this are gazebo and you you'll commonly see these two libraries gazebo and common common because they have many internally they have many function and classes that are being used for this for example gazebo is needed for to use all of this everything okay now this common is needed to use this world plugin as well as this model plugin that we are currently using okay so we are currently using the model plugin this is also defined within this common common now why we use this gazebo like this because everything is namespace under gazebo so we have to first give the gazebo then dash okay same way the physics is there because we want to use this model pointer okay model pointer is there so we want to use this now let's see what i have done i have inherited the model pointer in the previous video we had inherited the world pointer in this what we are using we are using the model pointer that's why we have defined within the range of this model okay so it is being defined within the model because it's a model pointer okay model plugin so this plugin is inherited publicly inherited by the class that i have written over here and let's see now let's see in gazebo api let's try and search for it same way you have to search gazebo model plugin class okay earlier was the world plugin now it's the model plugin so i've written model over here you have to open the first link i've already opened it now when you go down you will notice that all the plugins is having this this function that initially loads so this is also a virtual function it's exactly same whether it's a model plugin or it's a world plugin so you can see over here this load function is there and what's taking model pointer earlier it was world pointer now it's taking the model pointer model and hdf okay now it is taking those now now understand the thing over here now this is a model pointer so anything within this model it can point and this hdf exactly the same logic that we applied in the last video while discussing the world pointer so now what i mean to say over here is if you see now if i want to access this name how would i do because i have a pointer that is model pointer and also i have the hdf but right now we are not using the hdf but we if we are just using the model pointer so we can point to this name right exactly the same thing that you have seen why i am repeating this concept continuously because i want you to have a good understanding on this because these are very helpful when we proceed further in developing a good plugins right now these are very simple okay now so i've used over this plugin with a function right 
as we discussed in the last video we need to have some function to access those so where we'll get this function the same concept within the physics we have to search for the model so right now i'm not going to show you by searching it in my website that i've given you the tutorial website you will directly get this okay so it is defined as get name is defined within this i am directly opening the link from here otherwise in the last video i have told you the method you have to go within gazebo physics then model okay now let's search for our get name function now we got the get name function you see over here this is a get name function now what it is returning it is returning the name of the entity so which entity is attached to this this model entity is attached that means within this one what is it's having the model so it is this model and it will return the name of that model so this this model is the entity over here because this pointer is pointing over here okay now this is done now exactly the same thing that as we are going to make a subscriber to this so uh, now we also need a transport as i explained in the la last video now we also need the transport to publish okay so transport is used for publishing and subscribing so it right now we are going to do the subscribing thing of it okay now let me show you where it is this defined you already seen in the last video i am going to directly open the links from here this transport class is there if you go inside this transport you will get the node api as we know from the last video we will go get this node api and within this node you will see this initialization function in it that this init is there and in this as we discussed in the last video exactly the same thing is happening now the only difference is we are now we are subscribing so where is this subscriber defined let's go down and you will see this subscriber define and as i told you whenever you see a function always is input parameter types so it's taking a topic that is string type and this other values are optional right so i've just given it the topic name and why dash is there why dash is there because there could be any prefix over here after gazebo default or anything like that okay so there is a dash it will automatically detect it we have defined this node now what how i know this return type so i I've, I've seen from this function only so this subscriber pointer so that's why i've defined a transport subscriber pointer now i hope up till this is clear now subscriber as in ross what happens they have a callback function same way over here this is a callback function you can see within this subscribe to a topic using a class method as the callback now where is the callback this is the callback this line is very very important that's this is one of the thing that why i have told you the importance of this pointer like this what this subscriber is there right this is a callback on message is a callback okay so you can see on message is a callback so it will be giving us the message on message so now how to access this message so i told you the concept of this so what this is doing over here this is using this we are able to point to this particular thing as we discuss in one of the videos i hope you remember this if you do not please do check that video out again so this pointer is basically able to point to this okay that's the meaning of this omg over here on message and this subscriber i have passed this like this so that this will get this okay now this we come to this memo function but it will have a return type like all ross message has a return type so this will also have a return type from where we'll know what is the return type of this so we have to check for this world stats this is a topic right so where we have to go we have to again go on to this remember this location remember this location user include gazebo gazebo 9 messages over here you have to search this topic this all the messages are defined by the topic name but the message type is different okay so that is an important point so when i search like this you will get to this is basically the message that it's carrying now this is carrying this message you can see the message type is world statistic but the message name is this and these two are different things so this is the message name that's why i have defined like this and this is constant so that this message value won't get changed this is something that is heavily used in c++ 11 okay so this constant pointer will 
ensure that this message data that is coming that is not going to get changed. That's why this constant what is over here. Now this world statistic came from here. I hope you understood this. So this came from here and this was the topic. Okay. Now this is the message and same way if you open this, this will be the have the definition of this like like we discussed in the last video. Now if have if you haven't seen the last video, then I have same said so many things that were that I have discussed in the last video very detail. So you should check that out. Okay. So firstly check that out, then come over here. Now this is just going to print out that message. Debug dot string just prints the message out. Okay. So it will get will get this message on the terminal. And lastly we register our class that we have written. Okay, what we have done over here, we have just passed this as a reference. Okay, so we have passed the address of this, like this is a method to pass the address of this. But now we have made an important mistake over here. I want to explain you this point very, very important. What we have declared, we have declared a local variable over here while subscribing. So, what will happen? This is a local variable due to which our subscriber will not able to trigger this on message callback function. So this is a very bad practice. Let me show you. We are not going to get any output on our terminal because we have declared it as a local variable. Okay. Now let me show you the problem firstly. We'll discuss the solution then. And I will again go on to this. And I will open the link. Okay. Now I have defined over here how to run this. Just copying this down. Now this is going to launch. And you will see our model name is there. So same way we are able to access our model pointer using this model model pointer we are able to access its name of it this name this name what was the name of this model was box that's why we are getting on this terminal the box as the output okay now but one thing we are not getting this callback messages right because the message is coming on but there is no message over here you can see from here the message is coming on this topic this message is there but we are not getting the message because our function did not get triggered now what is the solution for this so this is you have to keep in your mind that try to avoid this kind of mistake that defining a local variable whenever you are writing a class especially when you are writing a subscriber never do like this which this is a very bad practice so rather than defining a local variable you have to make a private data member okay and define it like this okay so this this is that and i've defined it as a private data member now we'll make this changes over here what we'll do now we'll again call over this why this because we want to access this private data member that's why you're using this okay i have explained you this point already now we are using this now let's comment this out now you'll see that this is will able to trigger why because we have declared it globally within this class we have declared it globally that's the meaning of data member okay so now this is not a local variable it's a global variable within the class okay so that will make it to trigger this callback okay now you'll see let me build it every time you make some new changes you have to build it okay that will be getting built so I hope you understood the importance of this point. That's why intentionally I showed you what's the mistake, what you should avoid. Okay. So this is a very good practice. Describe uh, describe them as a data member rather than declaring them as a local variable. Try to use this in publishing subscriber and all. So you will have less issue in your code. Now let's launch this. Now you will see that we'll start getting this data type. We'll start getting this data right. We we are getting this data one more thing if i pause this you will see this got true okay you can see over here i made it a drop whenever i make it false you will get false like this so this is having the information of what's going on in the simulation so this topping is having those information right so now i now i hope that you understood this plugin as well how to make a subscriber plugin now we are done with the topics till now we have we understood that how to make a publisher in last video before that we understood how what is the topic now we understood how to subscribe to that topic now i hope the first point that i discussed with you now you understood that properly it uses the same kind of publisher subscriber and topic 
i hope you understood this point very clearly okay so in next video we are going to go further deep on this we'll discuss a model pointer in more detail okay so that's it for this video